here's the more artistic part. They, they each have their own sound. And I'm starting um, going up chromatically. Remember, chromatically is just every single note. That's the chromatic scale right there. Um, we're going to start going chromatically with each interval going up from a C. So between a C and the next note, which we'll call a D flat, is typically one of the most nasty sounding um, intervals in music when you're going a half step up from the root of the key. Now, so if you if you start from a different note of the scale, it can be totally different. But in this case, it's um, kind of a dark sound, and it can, and and can actually be kind of a Spanish thing too, like. throw it up an octave there. So that's a flat two. Now a major second is a little prettier sounding. It's still dissonant if you play it at the same time. But it can be kind of mystical sounding to me. So I'm just playing the octave higher. Can be and it can lead into very pretty things like So I'm just adding other things in, but the gist is that interval. So that's kind of a pretty one. Uh, a lot of times this lead is just a lot of times just a passing note, you know, you'd be going anyway. Uh, the next one up is the flatted third, so that being the, the major third, and this is the minor third, because it's one down from the major third. And this one has a sadder sound than the major third. You hear that, that second, that's a pretty sound, it works good. And it also can have a very rock and roll kind of sound. And, um, let's see. And, and you notice minor third, it has two notes in between it. That's how big that interval is. And so if you go down to A, you see it's the same thing. It has two notes in between it. So that's also the same interval. So that's A minor. Where it was up here, since I was playing this E flat, I was playing in C minor. Anyway, okay, next is the major third, which is a lot prettier sound. Next up would be the fourth, which to me has a more noble sound and is actually a really popular uh, interval, I think, in pop music nowadays. You hear guys holding out the fourth, which might not have been so normal in, in uh, past styles of music, but you hear. the march thing too. Uh, the next one is a special one. It's actually the halfway between an octave. It's the exact midpoint. Um, we call this one either the sharp four or the flat five. And it's also called the tritone. Um, the reason it's called the tritone is because it's uh, three whole steps up. So like here's your first whole step up, here's your second whole step up, and here's your third whole step up. So it's tri three, three tones. Remember, a whole step is actually two notes up, or, or is only one half step is is an actual note up. It's confusing, but that's the way it is. <clears throat> so that's that's a tritone, sharp four, flat five, same thing. 
And uh, it's, aside from the minor second, it's one of the more evil and dark sounding intervals. Um, just about every villain theme ever uses it, I think. I mean, or should. <laughs> minor second you get a really dark of course you used a lot in metal uh, next one is the perfect fifth um, a lot of people call it the perfect fifth uh, just because it's it's one of the more consonant intervals it's, it's the next most consonant interval after the octave itself it has a very noble heroic sound Lots of hero themes use the perfect fifth. Uh, next one is the minor sixth. And to me, this is the meat of sci-fi right here. Um, sci-fi just wouldn't work without the minor sixth. Here's some examples. Great in combination with the perfect fifth. Or heck, any other interval, really. I just played every single note with it. It's a very mystical sound. I love the minor sixth. Okay, next up is the major sixth, which is a lot happier sound. You hear this in uh, happy blues kind of stuff, um, things like that. That's a very happy interval. Next up is the minor seventh, which uh, is a, a staple of like blues and country kind of sounds. Um, and also, if you throw it down the octave. And, and use it like this is the B flat. And you go up a note. It's part of that rock kind of sound if you combine it with a minor third. Real popular in bass lines. Uh, let's see. Okay. And lastly is the major seventh. Uh, also a dissonant one, but can be very pretty if you combine it with a major third. And usually that one just leads up to going to the octave. And you also have to consider that it's the same thing as going down a half step. But it, it kind of has a mystical sound to me. So that's all the intervals coming off of the root of the scale.